Hello everybody, Irogon here with another tutorial for Unity. This time I'm gonna cover my flashing light. Um, this is handy if you are making a horror game or something, or yeah, a little bit spooky uh, scene because yeah, it's quite spooky, uh, like a light that seems to be broken or that seems to be a little bit fucked up. So yeah, um, how are we gonna do it? Of course, you need a light uh, up there. Um, I made it a point light um, right here. So I got the pole, made it with some cylinders and swear for the orb, and then of course the light with uh, with the script here. So I already made a script, uh, but I'm gonna show you how to make it. So we create a new script. I make a C sharp script, and we call it flickering. Ring. There we go. And we open it in Mono Develop. So first of all we're gonna delete those. And we first start off with some uh, variables. So we're gonna make a public. It's a light. And we're gonna call it a light object. We're gonna make another public. This is gonna be a float. And it's going to be the minimum time on this. is going to be the, um, the time um, for the randomizing for uh, how long the light should be on and turn off because you don't want. Um, because, yeah, it's actually um, a, br a light that's off but has problems with keeping on. So I guess the time it should be um, on should be shorter than, the, than it should be off. Um, so, and then we got, of course, the time. Uh, next time on, I've got a public, also a float, which is the minimum time off, and we've got a public, also a float, with a maximum time, sorry, time off, and then we got also the light amount of light, which I want to be randomized, which uh, I want to be f able to fill in. So we got minimum light, and we got a public float max light. Uh, yeah, that's that. And then, of course, between the time that should be calculated randomly, which we make a private float wait time on, and a private float wait time off that's that and then we're gonna make the avoid start and uh, what we're gonna put in here is uh, a coroutine oh yeah yeah start coroutine there we go and this is gonna be a problem because I cannot use the double quotes there so I need to copy paste it from somewhere. There we go. And this coaching is called a Flickr. Okay, so then we are going to make the coroutine. It's an EA enumerator. If you want to know exactly what it does, just look it down on the on, on, on look for a tutorial because I'm not um, going to cover that in this um, episode. So this one is gonna called is gonna be called flicker, which is referring to this. So this one is starting this one, but what this is actually doing is just this. Al this allows you to um, a coroutine um, allows you to actually pause your script in within your uh, function. Like the update function does not allow like wait functions or something like that. Um, so we got that. Okay, so we want to first want to check if light object dot enabled is true. So it means if it's on at the moment. Um, we want the wait time on um, needs to is random dot range. The minimum time on and the uh, max, oh okay. max time on. 
So what this is doing, it's um, using this, those two. It's gonna pick a random uh, float uh, between minimum time on the value we put in there and the maximum time on which we put in there. Um, and it's gonna store it in wait time on this, this one. So then we got the time that we actually want the script to wait before it's gonna turn it on or off. So then we're gonna make actually the script wait, which is uh, done by the yield function. And then we're gonna use a return new wait for seconds wait uh, wait time on. So what is actually doing? This is actually your wait function. Um, and because you want this one to be new all the time because the value here is also new all the time so this is just to be sure that it is a new weight uh, a new the new function for the wait for seconds uh, yeah. and then of course we got the uh, light object dot enabled it equals false so what it's actually doing is so it's gonna check if it's on that it creates a random time that needs to wait and after that it's gonna turn the light off um, and then of course we want it to um, restart the coroutine why is it this uh, doing so weird coroutine just uh, just copy this actually. So that makes sure that when this is done, it goes there again. Okay, but what if it's if the light is not enabled? Then we put an else, and we say wait time off is equal equals random dot range uh, minimum time off this time. And we've got the max time off. So that creates it. And then, of course, again, we're going to put... It's actually exactly the same as this one. But this time we say time off. And we say the uh, light object. Dot intensity. Uh, intensity. Equals random dot range a minimum light min, min light and max light which are those t uh, those two so what it's doing if t if or light is off at the start of this or it's disabled it's gonna skip this of course and going to the else function and then of course it is off so we want it to be on but we don't want it to be on always on the same amount of light so that's like this part so we wait a few seconds and then we put the intensity to that before we actually gonna put it on and after that we say light object dot enabled is true which will put the light on and then of course we just say to restart this all over again and then of course we need to end this all with and that's not going as planned let's keep it nice and um, uh, it is very important that you actually keep your code um, code clean as I would call it keep it nice sorted don't make a mess of it. Um, always uh, put it in the same way so it's easy for others and easy for you to uh, to use it again. So that's it. And that's that one. So what are we gonna do to fix that? Because um, of course uh, we need to attach it to something. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna delete this one first. No, actually, I'm just going to disable it. And then we are going to add the flickering one. So we got this script now. Uh, we need to attach light, which will just be this light. So the light you put here. The object is a transform, of course. And then the light component you put in there. And then you can put the 
the time here. What I found a good one, I will just type it over, is zero dots. So it's gonna be maximum, the maximum time the light is gonna be on will be between zero and uh, zero point five seconds. Um, same goes for the minimum time off, it could be zero, uh, zero but it could also be one, which means that it is possible for the light to be twice as long off then it should then it is maximum on and then of course the minimum light is something you you would prefer yourself in my case I would put it on this one it completely depends on how high do you put it so like because this looks like cool here but here it looks stupid you want it to be um, not so bright so yeah that's it um, and now if we play test it start my server I uh, also put this on by the way Let's see L puts on uh, toggles the flashlight also I got the third person shooter version you can just switch between and as you can see I will put the flashlight off I can see that it is um, working properly it's doing it a little bit random again if you want yeah you could put it on like the minimum amount it should be on like maybe if you don't want it to be exactly zero because of course that might look stupid to put it on this um, it, maybe it looks a little bit nicer f for you completely depends on, it, on what you uh, really want This way it's not like going off and on immediately which will prevent from ugly flickering light stuff. So yeah that's actually it. Um, I will put the download link in the description below. Um, if you're gonna use it um, please like subscribe to my channel for more videos. I will be making more tutorials for you guys. Um, uh, but I also recommend to not just copy paste it but just to watch this video uh, again um, and check and check the code uh, right with me um, because it will m you will learn a lot more about this uh, about uh, about programming in unity uh, and scripting in general so yeah please like and subscribe and uh, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next uh, tutorial goodbye